You want to use your gifts and meet your challenges, period. Today's episode is about the RD mind and treatment. Again, the RD mind is a regulation difference in the human mind, 10% of the world's population, otherwise known as ADHD. Watch previous episodes to learn more about exactly how I explain that. But the RD mind is a real thing. It's a regulation difference. It's not a disorder. It results in gifts and challenges. So today I'm going to start talking about treatment or meeting the challenges. There are three legs of the stool that I've been using for over 20 years now to help people meet the challenges of their RD mind. And they are medication, partnering, and strategies, a whole bunch of strategies, including list management. Those are three legs of the stool. I recommend to people do all three because it's like if you have a stool and there are two legs, it doesn't stand up as well or very well at all. It's really all three together help you meet your challenges. And I recommend to do all three of them. In terms of just starting to treat or meet the challenges of your RD mind, it starts with education. It starts with understanding, like the few episodes preceding this tell you a lot about how and why the RD mind exists. It's a regulation difference of neurological activity. But it starts with education. You want to learn all about your RD mind. You want to just start with the fact, like the center of the universe here is a regulation difference. That's everything is explained by the regulation difference. You want to start there to understand your RD mind. It's caused by a regulation difference, which is why I call it RD or RD mind. Then you want to like understand how it affects different parts of your life because it does affect every part of your life. Just like I have an obsessive mind with, I like things neat. And by the way, the obsessive mind naturally occurring, maybe half the population, I don't know. Um, the obsessive mind you're born with and then develops too. Anyway, the combination of that and generalized anxiety can lead to OCD or obsessive compulsive disorder. But anyway, there are different ways that my obsessive mind affects my life. I can clearly see it gives me gifts and challenges, just like your RD mind clearly gives you gifts and challenges. You want to just start to know that, start to look for it all the time. And like I talked about in previous episode, the classic gifts and the classic challenges. You want to look at your life now as it exists today and up until now, whatever age you are. You can see that if you look at it carefully. Then, like I've said also in a previous episode, emphasized and I'll emphasize forever, is you want to use your gifts and meet your challenges, period. Know what your gifts are all throughout life for other reasons besides RD mind, but in terms of RD mind, know your gifts, use them, follow them, pursue them, be feel great. You have gifts, I have gifts, every human has gifts, like every human has challenges. Use your gifts. Know specifically that a lot of them come from your RD mind. And then meet your challenges. Know your challenges from your RD mind. Anything else also, but know your challenges from your RD mind and meet them. And that's what the next three episodes are all about. Those three legs of the stool of meeting your challenges. Medication, partnering, and strategies. Know your gifts, know your challenges. A huge part of this, this new understanding part, is a new self-image, a very, very positive self-image. It's a huge part of what I do, huge part of what I want you to do, is to understand your RD mind, understand your gifts and challenges, and then see the positiveness of you. See the awesomeness of you. Don't feel like or continue to feel like there's something wrong with you 
because there isn't. There's a difference, just like every human. It's a difference from every human to another. It's a snowflake. You know, if you don't live in a place with snow, we talk about all the snow we get and there's billions of snowflakes and they're all from the same thing. They're frozen water, but every snowflake is a little different. So every brain is really, really similar, but it's still a little different on, of every human on the planet. And there are these clusters of differences like obsessive mind differences and RD mind differences. So knowing yourself that way instead of, which may have been for a long time, failure, don't live up to your potential. All those negative thoughts, those negative things thrown at you that you've taken, you've internalized, this understanding of your RD mind just changes that. Gifts and challenges. Biological basis, gifts and challenges. So that's the first part of um, addressing really the challenges is like know your gifts and know your challenges. Now use your gifts and let's go meet the challenges. So that's what we're going to do that next. I hope this has been helpful because you deserve it and you are awesome.